Hi everybody, it's Dave Vellante, and we're here at the Tug event. Big data of the East, big data after dark, and we're here with the man, Chris Lynch. Chris, you've been on theCUBE a bunch of times, really appreciate you taking the time with us. My pleasure, Dave. So, you have been on fire lately. We've been watching your moves. We covered it when you went to Atlas, and uh, we're seeing what you're doing with companies like Squirrel, companies like Adapt. How's it going? It's going great. I mean, it's a great time to be in this market, and obviously big data is the place to be. It's the fastest growing sector, $100 billion marketplace, so we're very happy to be here. Yeah, I mean, you, you put that number out, and we started thinking about it and said, you know what, it's getting so big you can't even count it because there's so much value being created in the customer base. Now, one of the trends that we've been tracking is this notion of real time. We saw Hadapt last year at the, one of your companies, one of your portfolio companies at the uh, Strata show, they won the best in show for their platform, basically bringing SQL and NoSQL together, bringing real time to Hadoop. I was talking to you the other day and you said, you know what, real time, eh, it's kind of BS, it's all about in time. And you coined that term in time. What do you mean by in time? So my view is that real time is sort of a misnomer, because at the end of the day, it's not about milliseconds or microseconds, it's about being able to get look at information and glean insights in time to make a decision to monetize the data, to, to make it actionable. So in time is about being able to get the right data and the right insights into the right people's hands to make decisions. Yeah, so I like that definition because it's like do it before you lose the customer. You know, whether that's real time, or but in time, right? Before you lose the business or before you lose the patient. In time analytics is about changing the score, sort of Traditional legacy analytic systems are really about assessing the score, keeping score. And I think there's a new bar. How do you use information to gain competitive advantage? It means you need it at the time of decision. That's what in time is. And I think the, what, what we're seeing is a trend for people moving from the legacy systems that are systems of record to the systems of engagement. And that's why I'm so excited about Hadapt, H-Streaming, Newtonian, Squirrel, because these are these guys are building systems of engagement, systems that change the score. Yes, yeah, so I want to come back to H streaming in a minute. Actually, let's do it now. So you are about big data in the East. I mean, when you came in the scene, you said, "Look, we are going to reinvigorate big data in Boston and Cambridge." Clearly, you're doing that. There's a lot of action here, but you're also making some moves on the West Coast. What's that all about? It's a it, it, well, it's about a couple things. First of all, I'm about innovation. I'm about investing in great ideas and great people. And um, I found a couple that were in transition. They're actually um, from Europe, from Eastern Europe. And um, I met them sort of en route to the West Coast through Chicago. And um, a good idea is a good idea. And um, I wasn't going to be daunted by all the people running around, throwing checks around to anybody that's got big data in the sentence of their, you know, their mission statement. And um, I connected with them, and I think we mutually saw the value of what we could do together, and we're in business. So there's a husband and wife team, right? It is. It so, is. so there's been some other uh, successful husband and wife teams. Uh, VMware started by a husband and wife team. Cisco, you know, is that? That's right. Is that th that's that right. kind of potential here? I absolutely think so. I mean, the, the market, if you th there are actually a lot of similarities, partic particularly between Cisco, a market that was in its infancy but was huge in internet working. And um, I think you have two people that appreciate the skills that they, complementary skills that e they each have, and they're absolutely hungry, they're on a mission, and um, I believe they're going to do it or die trying, and I love that. I got, I got an off the wall question for you here. You introduced me to Jim Corsi, great guy. He came on the Cube. We interviewed him. We talked about Moneyball. When you think about Moneyball, that's like the sports, you know, instantiation of big data. Now in Moneyball, you had the Oakland A's doing sabermetrics. They were ahead of the game. Everybody's kind of kind of caught up though. Everybody's using sabermetrics. Do you see big data? The whole market here is different. In other words, is the value that people are going to be able to extract from big data is that a sustainable, differentiable advantage, or will Everybody sort of catch up. What are your thoughts on that? It's a great question. First of all, let me say to the camera, I love Jim Corsi. Hey, Jim, this haircut's for you. And it's also for St. Baldrick's. Be there in March at Hack Reduce. Come on back in the cube, Jim. <laughs> if you dare. So I think, I think it's like the web is a great analog. You saw a big leap in progress with the first mover advantage. The people that invoke the, the web into their businesses were able to disrupt the business models of their competitors. I think analytics the same way. 
and then there's a plateau, and then people begin to in innovate further. And I would say, you know, look at companies like Amazon. So everybody has access to the same technologies they do, but they've been able to refine their capabilities to the point that, you know, they're destroying the competition by just getting more proficient in a medium that's game changing. I think the same thing will happen with analytics. Yeah, Amazon's making big moves into the enterprise, you know, and, and you know, that's a business that you know quite a bit about. You know, at the same time, you know, if you're a CIO, would you put your data into Amazon? I guess it's maybe, maybe some data. What are your thoughts on, on what's going on there? I would put my data into Amazon if I was a CIO, if the data store was Squirrel. <laughs> well, no, huh? good, good answer, right? You want it secure, it's secure. Some level security and multi-tenancy. I yeah. absolutely think it's the future, all seriousness. And I think Amazon, you know, they're thought leaders. You know, I'm sure that they're going to see this and, you know, their next call is going to be to Squirrel. Well, Squirrel, multi-tenant, cloud, NoSQL database. I mean, it's and no uh, yeah, we had Eli on and Adam tonight. I mean, Adam, unbelievable, the knowledge that guy has. And, yeah. and, uh, and, and you can't say enough about Eli. That guy's got a good face for radio. <laughs> He's, uh, he's cool. He had a good rap tonight, so we, we love having those guys on. Chris, I know you're swamped. Everybody's lining up. They want to talk to you. Really appreciate you taking some time with us. Thank you, Dave. Anytime. Always a pleasure, man. All right, keep it right there. We'll be back with our next guest. This is The Cube. This is Dave Vellante. We're live here at the Tug event. Thanks for watching.